Hello, my name is Katie and um, today I'm going to review some picture books. Um, ones that um, I really love that are new this year um, and I'm not going to talk too much um, before actually presenting them to you. Um, I won't be reading them, I'll just be reviewing them, giving you a kind of sneak peek so you can decide whether you like it and if it's something you'd um, be interested in reading yourself. So the first one up today is uh, Bob Goes Pop from uh, Marion Dutchers and she is the author and the illustrator of this book and that comes from Lawrence King Publishing so that comes to me from Thames and Hudson. I'm um, an absolute um, joy. We've had Bob before, we've had Bob the artist and then um, Bob's blue period. So today we're in the realm of pop art and um, Bob is our artist, so I'll just open a couple of open the a couple of pages for you, so you can have a look at what we're what we've got inside. So we've got these lovely, very um, splashy primary colours. We've got Bob, the artist, who has had some interesting news in that he's not the only artist in town, and as you can well imagine, this is going to cause a couple of um, ruffle his feathers, shall we say? So the other artist in town, Roy, is. Um, Doing sculpture and again pop art. Um, the artist um, illustrator is letting us sort of have a bit of fun with the idea that pop art really just looks like ordinary things, but ordinary things that are, you know, maybe just a bit bigger. You get a lot of little commentaries from our little characters um, who are on every page, and they're very supportive of Roy. So Bob has a serious problem here. So obviously um, there's a bit of a challenge. The two of them are going to go and. Um, um, you know, Bob's going to try and you know, get get even with his rival or do just um, just as well. So a lot of fun with the titles as well because each artwork is going to have a, a name. And this one is, for example, you've got this, um, you know, Bob is saying that's just a, a giant lollipop and the artist is calling it lick, lick, slurpy, slurp. So um, gorgeous. Look at these pages, gorgeous illustrations. Bob's going to try his hand and you have got an absolutely wonderful, have a look at this. Fold that page where we have a balloon art. So everything in there for little arty minds, lots of fun um, additions to every page. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, Bob goes pop and as you can, uh, understand from the title something explosive might happen in this one that's number one number two different sort of a feel again very arty um gorgeous book uh tiger from jan or jan Jutas, um an award-winning again artist um this one comes to us from lemniscat which is thames and hudson again i'm going to go to this camera, got to get the hang of this. So it's a very simple story about a woman, Josephine, who goes walking on her own in the woods. But uh, there we see her walking. Beautiful, look at these gorgeous lines, lovely colors. Is she on her own at all, at all? Well, maybe she's not. So she meets a tiger. It's a great friend to have. Tiger loves her, she loves the tiger. So it's about your friendships, who you love. Um, they're having a great old cuddle. And look at this, look at this gorgeous European feel. So Tiger's gonna come back to town. They're gonna be friends. Is everyone, you know, is everyone gonna love Tiger? Well, I'll just show you a quickie here. That is, uh, gives you a great idea of exactly where. See, even Tiger goes to school with the kids. But then Tiger gets, uh, yeah, a bit under the weather. As we can see here, so what's going to happen? Story with a theme, quite a strong theme about if your friend wants to, you know, where your friend is happy, what your friends are happy doing, let them do that if you really are their friend too. A little bit sad about saying goodbye, but also a happy, nice little happy thing at the end. It's absolutely glorious. That's number two. Um, number three. Oh, this one just makes me laugh, just looking at the cover. But he's on the bus, Philip Arda. Um, he's the the uh, author. Um, the artist is Ben Mantle. This comes from Walker Books. An absolutely hilarious romp. Uh, it's for everybody. No particular themes. It's not um, 
moralizing. It's just about a whole load of bunnies that get on a bus. You can imagine what that might be like, a whole load of bunnies on a bus. It's utter chaos. Rhyming text, absolutely gorgeous. We have all the people in sunny town. So like, we're, this is a happy story. And all the bunnies are getting on the bus and you can imagine, there they are, all patiently getting on the bus. We have a sort of granddad bunny kind of taking, keeping an eye on everybody. And then look at these pages, busy, busy things for your busy little minds. Um, you know, you've got model citizens, you've got crocodiles, you've got a newspaper story that's going through. So the characters that go right through the book, um, bunnies on the bus, bunnies on the bus, no wonder there's a fuss about the bunnies on the bus. So you can imagine uh, the whole world gets, <laughs> look at this driver, big tiny little eyes peering over that steering wheel. So chaos outside, chaos inside, great laugh, good for all ages. Um, lots of rhyme, great for getting that ear in, um, and it really is um, a super, super fun read from Walker Books. Bunnies again. So maybe I actually have got a theme going here. This is Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit by Lorna Scobie. She did Collecting Cats last year, I think, and this is a really good one for... Um, it is a themed book. It's about being a sibling and being the only one and really liking being the only one. And then another one comes along and then how does, how, how does that pan out? So you've got this little one, you know, see this page here. So it's, um, I'm the only child in my family and that's the way I like it. So obviously things will get complicated. So these are all the nice things that you can have when you're the only one. Sorry, those pages are moving. I'm not very good at this. Um, there's a new one. So we get a new bunny turning up in the family plopped out there by the parents. That's a bit annoying. And then there are going to be even more. So when all of these other bunnies turn up, this is where we're negotiating our social interactions, jealousies, an uh, absolute hoot. Um, he's a bit surprised by the amount of affection he's getting from his, his siblings. So it's about negotiating that space. Something has to be done. So I will not go any further. I'll leave you to find out what happens with that one. Um, Gorgeous illustrations, bit of a giggle, and a very fun, thoughtful way of um, dealing with something that can be actually quite challenging for parents, um, which is um, sibling rivalry, new baby coming along, all of those. Uh, another gorgeous one here. So this um, is, yeah, there is an Easter theme going on here. I know tigers may not have, whoops, got my pages all mixed up. Tigers may not have anything to do with that, but um, Christina Booth, I have got my notes for this one. I just can't remember where I put them. Christina Booth, um, this one comes from Alan and Unwin. It's, it is an Easter book, but it's about eggs. So have a look at this. Well, I'll turn it to this one. So look at these. We're going to be learning about, about eggs and hatching. At the end of the book, we get who those eggs belong to. And uh, um, it is about a hen who is sitting there brooding and then a thunderstorm comes and her her eggs roll away so all of her friends help her find find those eggs um so you've got that very basic vocabulary come on pages of you know the dog is helping the cat is helping little conversations going on you have the numbers brought up in color for first identification so she finds one egg two eggs three eggs four eggs five six even at the end duck gives her hen an egg um, to, to cheer her up because she's a bit sad. So see the way she carries the egg here. And then you get the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for the hatching. And as you all know, or can imagine, when you have, oops, I'm not showing you that page, um, eggs that hatch might not necessarily be chicks, not dragons. It's real world, this book. Absolutely divine. So Christina Booth is both the il illustrator and the author and um, gorgeous feel. Great for the littlies. Um, ah, a gem and another, another one. Okay, this is a real leap because this is a completely different target. Um, I told you there was no real theme or age group to these, but uh, Trace Baller's new book, Landing with Wings, is... Um, it's a rare book, I suppose. She's already won the um, CBCA awards with rock, ho rock hopping. Sorry, um, absolutely divine. This one. It is um, about a girl's adventure. Um, 
in nature. It's about country. It's about um, um, the indigenous um, way of looking at country and how um, we should all be loving, respecting and living country in, in a better way maybe than we do. Nothing preachy about this. I mean, look at, look at this gorgeous page. We have a little bit of, um, because it's written in uh, Jar Jar Wurrung land, we have some of the vocabulary. Um, absolutely divine. So we have a little girl who starts out her story here. She writes to, um, to a tree, actually, at the very beginning. And then she is moving with her mum. They're traveling away from where they have always been to somewhere new. So it's uh, lots of adventure, lots of adapting to a new world, which is what we're all doing. Um, very good for um, leaving your child an older, confident, more confident reader, leaving them alone with the book to explore it, but also a lovely one to read with as a parent i think it's absolutely gorgeous lots to point out lots to look at um lots um lots of illustrations lots of naming of everything we see um very very gorgeously done in this sort of slightly cartoony form which i think um, our younger readers really like but to be totally totally honest i adore this style of of reading myself um, and it's how we go from being two the mother and daughter into being family here we have a picture of country uh, where we are all together in in country um, because that's where that's where we all feel well or that's what this story it tells us she does give a lot of information about where she gets her story from for her permissions how she works um, full of nature, full of absolutely gorgeous illustrations, a beautiful story, friendship, making do with very little, recycling. I could go on and on about this one. Actually, I could do a whole hour on this book alone. Um, absolutely love it. Um, there you are. That, those are the, the, the gems. Um, yeah, I'll catch you again another time with a, another set of reviews. I hope you've enjoyed those and you can give us a call if any of those interests you. Um, thanks very much. Bye-bye.